All right, so we're quickly gonna go over um, the operation of insert into a binary search tree. Um, there's a, is there something interesting that you can see? So if we took a, a, an array, a sorted array, of say one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna take the reverse of that. So this is um, an array that's in order, in increasing order, and then we're gonna look at an array that's uh, decreasing, so four, three, two, one. And then the third one, we're gonna look for uh, an array that's out of order. So we can say like six, 10, uh, two, uh, five, three. Okay, so these are the three different ones we're gonna go over really quick. They're pretty simple. So what we do is we start we're gonna start with this one, the one, two, three, four array. So the first number that we would wanna put into our binary search tree would be the, the value of one. Now, because there's nothing there already, we would just create that as the root. The first one always goes as, as the root node. Um, and then we have to look at our properties over here. So we're gonna have, you know, the left child is always gonna be less than the parent. The right child is always gonna be greater than the parent and there can't be any duplicate nodes. All right, so let's say two, we have, to, we have to compare two with one. Is two greater than one? Yes, so it's gonna go on the right-hand side. If it was less than one, if it was negative one, we would've gone on the left-hand on the left -hand side. All right, now as we keep going, we always have to start at the root when we're checking every single element, so that's how we know where the next one's gonna go. So we go to three, now we compare the number three with one. Three is greater than one, so we go on the right-hand side, and then we're gonna compare three with two, which is also greater than two, so we're gonna go on the right-hand side. All right, and then four, if you can guess, is gonna go on the right-hand side. Now notice this, this shape, it's gonna go like this. All right, so what do you think that if you go in descending order, it's gonna look like? Well, first, you're going to start with 4 because 4 is going to be our root node. Uh, 3 is less than 4, so we're actually going to go left. And if you can see the pattern here, um, it's going to be the exact opposite. It's going to be going uh, fully left recursive subtree. But let's look at the third one because the third one's interesting. Um, the third one is a mix of unordered elements. So the first element is going to be 6 as our root node, and now 10. Uh, 10 is greater than six, so it's gonna go on the right-hand side as our right subtree. Two, all right, two, you know, we, yes, it's less than 10, but it's not, it's also less than six. Because it's less than six, we're gonna put it on the left-hand side, all right? And then we look at the number five. Five is also less than six, so we're gonna go, okay, to the left of that. And, but it's greater than two, so it's gonna go on the right-hand side of two. And then three is, this is cool, so it's gonna be compared to three to six, which is less than, three to two, three, three is greater than two, so we're gonna go the right-hand side, but three is less than five, so it's gonna go on the left-hand side of five. All right, so this is a, an example where a tree that's not completely in order how you would insert uh, nodes. And uh, so just the reason why I want to show you these two cases, so if you see anything uh, that's in order as an array or increasing or de decreasing, it's easier to understand how the tree is going to be structured.